But first tonight, disturbing new details about a group of FLDS girls who escaped from Phoenix area group homes and were found by deputies hiding in a Washington State Airbnb. All of this stems from ex FLDS member Samuel Bateman currently behind bars in Florence for several charges, including child abuse. And tonight, new documents are revealing how he's been able to coerce these girls and wives even while locked up. True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney has been digging into this. What have you found? Everything about this story is just so it's concerning. Wild. Yeah, it was just after Thanksgiving when eight FLDS girls connected to Samuel Bateman escaped multiple group homes here in the Valley. Homes DCS put them in after they were rescued from a trailer in deplorable conditions. A trailer Bateman was transporting them in earlier this year. But just like the infamous FLDS leader Warren Jeffs, Sam Bateman's power hasn't been stopped by prison. Eight FLDS girls vanishing from Arizona group homes on November 27th and going on the run, allegedly for the self-proclaimed prophet they follow and are connected to, Samuel Bateman. There's always the guys out there that are just ready to pounce and ready to pray. Arizona's family special correspondent Mike Watkiss has reported on Warren Jeffs, convicted of sexually assaulting underage girls he took as brides in his cult, with allegations of many more illegal marriages and sex abuse. While Jeffs is serving life in prison, documents show Bateman has started his own offshoot of the religion with about 50 followers and more than 20 wives. According to federal documents, from May of 2020 to November of 2021, Bateman and his co-conspirators transported these girls from Nebraska to Arizona to Utah and Nevada for sex acts, many of them underage. Prior to his arrest near Flagstaff earlier this year while driving them in a filthy trailer, his daughter told authorities her father said he would do what a boy does to make her have a baby. Another one of the girls rescued admitted to being present and nude for a sex orgy with Bateman and many other girls. But even with Bateman in the Florence prison, authorities found he had recently had video calls with some of his wives. Just days ago, they showed Bateman the girls from the group home in a car and then in a hotel room. Authorities received information and were able to track a credit card used by one of the wives to an Airbnb in Spokane, Washington, where they found Bateman's 19-year-old wife, Moretta Rose Johnson, with the eight missing girls. Sam's now a martyr for his little his little cult following, his little offshoot. Waka says this time last year, he received a call from Bateman, who insisted he he meet Watkiss in Phoenix. Uh, I agreed to meet him at a park, had no idea what was going to happen, and it was shocking. Out walked dozens of FLDS women seen in this picture. And he had his family sing us some songs, beautiful choral arrangements, these women and girls singing me songs in the Phoenix park in their pastel dresses. It was, it was an unusual scene. That parallels an odd experience described in these court documents, showing at one point the girls sang to Bateman on a call to him from jail earlier this year and told him they loved him. Watkiss reported his experience to the FBI, suspicious Bateman could be harming these girls, who even a year later still appear to be under his control. How do you get people to stop following crazed, self-indulgent cult leaders? And it's a, I don't have the answer. Bateman's wife, Moretta Johnson, the teen found with the girls in Washington, was arrested and will be transferred back here to Arizona. Two other women were also arrested for their involvement, and Bateman remains in prison for his previous charges. As of now, the FBI has not disclosed what happened to the girls or where they were placed after they were found at that Airbnb. Live in the studio tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family. Wow, what a case, Brianna. Thank you. The man